delivery for Louis Stevens. Oh boy. What now? What is it? An emu. What? Oh! <laughs> no! Who has ordered an emu? Get it out of here! I'm sorry, sir. Our return policy is very specific. What is it? No returns. Have a nice day. You might want to stop that thing from eating your family. What? Whoa! Stop it! Stop the bad bird! Bad bird! Slow it! The Sacramento kid lines up his shot. The pressure is mounting. Yep. Holy roly polies, the 710 split! This is the worst possible situation for frozen food basement bowling. I have no idea what the Sacramento kid's gonna do about this one. You know, I, I need a more colorful bowling name. Uh, what about hot pins? Hot pin? Tom, to pitch that for every sport we ever play. But this time I think it's appropriate. Lois! Can you explain why an emu was just delivered to the house? Emu for you. May I take your order? Yeah, I want to order an emu. Can you hold, please? Mm -hmm. Hold. Lois! Oh! That emu! Well, Dad, did you know that emu farming is the 15th largest growth industry in Oklahoma? You know what I'm thinking? We start our own little flock right here on the Ponderosa. <laughs> Breed emus. Yes. With one bird. Oh, you're right. We need another emu. I didn't even think. Louis, this is ridiculous. This is just another one of your half-baked schemes that you haven't thought through. And I'm canceling your subscription to get rich quick. Hey, Phyllis. Phyllis. Look what I found! An egg? I wonder where it came from. Ah! 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 Oh, no! Oh, no! Nice food. Oh, I'm coming, honey! Don't worry! I'll deal with you later! <clears throat> Dude, your dad seemed pretty mad. Well, better make this my last shot. After a tongue lashing from his dad, the Sacramento kid amazingly maintains his focus. What a competitor! Oh, dude. Um, I have to go home now. Relax, hot pins. Looks like some kind of abandoned tunnel. Yeah, but it only goes a few feet. Someone must have filled it in. Yeah. I wonder where it leads. Lois! Ah! Oh. Lois! We can do some little... Ah! All right, listen. I'm going to go up there right now. We'll come back tomorrow. But don't anybody say anything about this. Mum's the word. Right. Ah! I give you guys a simple task, a privilege even, to choose the cafeteria dessert menu. And how do you repay me? Chocolate mousse. Banana cream. Chocolate mousse! Banana cream! Oh, you wit. Try me. Try me, okay? Come on! Come. Let's go! Let's all right, go. all right! I've tolerated your rivalry, perhaps even encouraged your scholastic competitiveness. But this time you have gone too far. Mr. Wexler, I would just like to say, I am sure Larry learned his lesson. What? Me? Oh, no, hold on. You're the one who started, okay? Uh, did not. Yes, you did. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did not. This problem is maybe even beyond my sphere of expertise. You two will report to Ms. Shannon, the guidance counselor. Hmm. By the way, we're going with the chocolate mousse. Ha! Your face, chocolate mousse. <laughs> uh, sorry, sir. Not in your face. Lou, this better be good, okay? Because they're gonna run out of pizza sticks. It's good, all right? Soon you'll be swimming in pizza sticks. Check this out. I downloaded this last night. I know what the tunnel is. Look. All right, this guy right here, this is Grover Frazee. He's a sausage dude. You mean as in Frazee sausage? Right. Uh, I eat those all the time. It's, we'll bet you go crazy for that great taste of 
crazy. Anyway, this guy, he used to own the property that my house was built on. That's why my neighborhood's called Frazy Gardens. Look, Lou, what the <gasps> heck does this Frazy guy have to do with the tunnel? I think that he built the tunnel. He built the tunnel. Here, look, I'll show you. Look, you see this article? It says right here, he made a fortune, but after he died, it disappeared. And you think it's buried at the end of the tunnel? With every fiber in my being. Oh, sweet dude, we are gonna be so rich. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> you really did your homework on this one, Sacramento kid. <laughs> Yeah, Tom, we're not doing the nicknames right now. Uh. Tell me, Ren, how does chartreuse make you feel? It makes me feel frustrated. It's a know-it-all, arrogant color. Oh, and um, what about you, Larry? How does magenta make you feel? It's loud, obnoxious, and bossy. Oh, I see, interesting. What does this have to do with Larry and me? What? Oh, nothing. I I'm just thinking of repainting my office. Can we please get this over with? Yes, because the less oxygen I have to share with Ren, the better. Stop me if I'm <laughs> wrong, but I get the feeling that you two are at odds. <laughs> hmm. Well, I have an experimental conflict resolution technique, but you know what? <laughs> it's probably a little too intense for you guys. Well, Ren might be scared, but I'm not. Oh, please. There's nothing I can't handle. So, I have a commitment from you both. Absolutely. Absolutely. By the end of this process, you should feel a bond. An attachment, if you will, like you've never felt before. Well, good luck. I cannot believe we have to be tied to each other for the next five days. Okay, quit complaining. It's only while we're in school. Yeah, well, it's worse for me. I have to be next to you. to embark on the greatest adventure of our lives. So let's put on our helmets. Tom, zip up your fly. Let's dig some dirt, huh? Um, wh what are we gonna do with all the dirt from the tunnel? Oh, don't worry about that. Got you covered. Brought in a dirt moving specialist. Do these pants make my butt look big? Yeah. Good. Let's move some dirt. <laughs> Why are you dumping dirt in my laundry room? Because there's a big scary bird in the backyard! Tom, what's going on here? Well, I... Dude, 
You know what I'm gonna do with my share of the money? What? I'm gonna buy a car, and in a couple of years I can drive it. Nice. <laughs> Sweet. What are you gonna do? Well, you know I've always wanted to travel. Who knows? Maybe I'll help out the folks. <laughs> Might even buy the old man a nice toupee, huh? Dad, it's not what you think. Did you just dig a giant hole through our basement wall? Well, yeah, maybe that part's what you think. But hey, you don't know the part about the treasure. Treasure? Yeah. This is just another one of your crazy half-baked schemes. No, 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 it's not half-baked, it's fully baked. I did research. Look, 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 see this guy? Okay, this old sausage dude, he took all of his treasure and he put it in this tunnel. I don't want to hear another word. I am very disappointed with you. Upstairs to your room now. I, uh, forgot my helmet. This is my mother's flashlight. Mmm, man, that's so good. Mom, have another egg, but this time over easy. Okay, but you're gonna have to help me crack it open. Okay. Mm. You know, I guess this whole emu thing worked out after all, huh? <laughs> well, you know what they say. When life gives you lemons. No, Mom. The eggs. I can't get a contractor to come out here at this hour. I'm gonna have to fill that hole myself. I tell you, Lewis can't do anything on a small scale. It's always gotta be a huge bird. Massive structural damage. Honey, I know that Lewis can be a little misguided, but, you know, you have to admit these emu eggs are delicious. Really? Well, maybe we can use the giant egg to plug up the giant hole in the wall. Mom. You know, if we had a gigantic English muffin and, and like a gallon of hollandaise sauce? <gasps> we could make a humongous eggs benedict. <laughs> oh. Is anyone listening here? We have a problem. Does this kid expect us to support him every time he comes up with a crazy scheme? Dad, you don't have to believe in what Lewis is doing. You just have to believe in Lewis. Donnie, that's very profound. Must be the eggs. You don't have to believe in what Lewis is doing. Just believe in Lewis. You don't have to believe in what Lewis I heard is. you the first time. Finish your eggs. I gotta fix that clock. Hey, Dad. What are you doing down here? I just came down to tell you I'm sorry for disappointing you. You had no right to dig a tunnel without asking me. I totally agree with you, and I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm completely sorry. For everything. For the tunnel, the emu, the garage door, everything that what I... What about the garage door? Oh, uh, nothing. Nothing. But in the event that something does happen to the garage door, feel free to uh, use my bike to get to work. Anyway, I'm sorry. Hold on a second, son. I was looking over your research, and I gotta say, I'm impressed. You did your homework this time. Thanks, Dad. Hey, Lou? Yep. I'm kinda curious to see what's in there. You are? Yep. And there's only one way to find out. Ow! Sorry, son. Oh, it's cool. Let's get to digging, huh? Really, you think? This is great. We're late again. You know, I cannot stand another day with you. You know, Ren, this experiment has really taught me something. I can't stand you! Oh, well, finally we agree on something. I loathe and despise you, too. Well, the longer we hate each other... The longer we're tethered together, I know. Wait a minute. I have an idea.
Hey, Lewis. What? Why aren't you at school? Why aren't you at work? <laughs> it's amazing, Miss Shannon. I never knew that Larry was such a caring and sensitive guy. <laughs> and I never knew that Rim was so sweet and generous. Oh. <laughs> wow. I'm happily surprised in, in only two days. Yeah, you really... You, you brought us together. It's like... Telepathy! <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> get out of my brain. No, you get out of my brain, you silly soulmate, you! Aww. This is the reason I went into school counseling. that she actually bought it. Yo, do you know how hard it was for me to keep a straight face? <laughs> Tell me about it, you silly soul. <laughs> We're getting along here. I know. Her thing Her didn't, thing didn't work, work, did it? Stop, Stop it. it. Okay, I, gotta I gotta go. go. Stop it! Ah! Wait, whoa, Dad, listen, listen. You hear that? It's a door. This is it. It's locked. We'll have to chop it down with an axe. No, look. We just used the key. Where did you get that? Under the welcome mat. Son, I just want to say, now that we've come this far, if we go in there and don't find anything, to remember the important thing is that we work together. That we believed in each other. That we stood side by side. Dad, the treasure? Right, the right. treasure. He really did bury his fortune down here. In a giant jewel encrusted sausage. No, Dad, what are you doing? No. You could be booby trapped. You're right. You know what we need? What? I saw this movie. He like. But you know what we need? We need like a counterweight or something. Like, huh. a, like a big rock or something. Find a big rock. All right. Hey! No? Yeah. All right. All right, let's do this. Um, I'm going to lift this up. You put that. Good. Count of three. One. Two. We've got something better than that. What's that? I don't know. I was going to make a joke, but not enough time has passed. Hey, come on. I'll make you an omelet. You know what's good with omelets? What's that? Golden sausages. Oh, come on. I told you it's too early. I had a joke. Don't let it go. No, it was right here. Right here. Hello? Somebody is waiting. 
Today, please. I hope you left the seat down this time. And we need some more eggs. 